Unless you're new to my YouTube channel, you'll know that I purchased a solid state hard drive recently. It's an OCZ Agility 3. It's, so far, it's been a great solid state drive. I have a plethora of videos on it as well. If you click right here, it'll take you to the unboxing of my solid state drive. If you click here, it'll take you to me actually installing it in my machine. And if you click somewhere right down in this area, that'll take you to the stress test that I did, opening a bunch of applications and whatnot. So this video is going to be a comparison video of it. It's, you know, how fast it is right next to a hard drive. I took Mac OS X Lion, I installed it on a hard drive and on my solid state drive, I put them side by side. Um, on the left side of the screen, you're going to see the solid state. On the right side, you'll see the um, hard drive. And I'm going to be doing the same tasks at the same time. I'm going to time it as good as I can. And um, like this won't be live or anything. Like I've already uh, pre-recorded these and I've edited them down and everything. But um, I've tried to make it very exact so that the second I click it is exactly on each. And you can see the actual difference. I'll be opening various applications such as Microsoft Word, Final Cut Pro 10. And it'll give you guys sort of an idea if you know if a solid state drive is right for you. And so with that said, let's start the test. All right, so the first app I tested was Safari. Um, basically what I did pretty much for all the applications really was opening them. I didn't really, in, in this video, I didn't go about, you know, surfing or anything, but just to give you guys sort of an idea. But now do keep in mind that um, with a faster hard drive, depending on the process you have, if it's like a MacBook, you may experience, you know, just overall faster browsing, maybe rendering the pages faster. Um, a lot of that stuff is really dependent on your processor, but I mean, if you have two, say, Core 2 Duos, like in MacBooks or whatever, and you have a solid state in one and a regular hard drive in the other, um, it is possible that you would see, you know, um, pages rendering faster within Safari. So like I said, for this video, all I did was a simple opening the browser test. And um, as you can see, the solid state drive is just snappier. Um, as you can also see, uh, what I did there was I also quit the application. And then I, um, I well, I full screened it, and then I quit it. And then I opened it again so, so you guys could see um, if there's a difference opening it right into full screen. So as you can see, the solid state drive is just a little snappier. So um, with just basic things like web, web browsing and web processing and you know, basic tasks like that, you will notice a small enhancement of your speed with a solid state drive. Little things like that, though, really don't use the solid state drive's full potential. The next application I opened was iTunes. Now I didn't really do too much with this. Really, all I did was open it. I did some more stuff, but the more I thought about it, I just kind of cut it out. Um, really, all all I really showed was scrolling, and you know, scrolling on the hard drive and solid state really was identical. There was really no speed boost there. The only speed boost I really noticed when using iTunes was with opening the application. I mean, I tried various things that take a few minutes, like activating Genius. It was the same speed. Um, really, the solid state drive doesn't do too much with iTunes. The only thing I can see the solid state drive really benefiting you with iTunes is if you're like migrating your library. Maybe if you're moving it from you know a MacBook Air with a solid state drive to whatever Mac uh, with a solid state drive, it'd be a lot faster than doing it from a solid state to a hard drive or another hard drive to a hard drive. So um, really, like I said, the only things that I really saw um, a solid state benefiting you with iTunes was opening the application and maybe just migrating your libraries and importing songs. The next app I put to the test was Final Cut Pro 10. Now this is you know more of a professional application. Uh, but like it, it's a video editor. Any video editor really does use a lot of your system's resources, especially you know graphics and when rendering and exporting. That's just straight processor power. However, I will say that a solid state drive did increase my performance a lot more than I thought it would. Um, I, I used a um, MacBook Air and Best Buy, and that actually had smoother applications with stuff like this. Like even iMovie was smoother than my you know, Core i7 Hackintosh, you know, just because it had a solid state. So when I got the solid state and I did this test, I noticed a tremendous speed boost. So as you can see here, I'm now opening the application and you know the solid state drive is chucking along and the hard drive is just now, it just brought up the Final Cut 10 logo, whereas on the solid state drive, I'm already in the interface, I'm editing, and it's just very smooth. As you can see, um, if I go into the timeline, out of the timeline, it, it's just butter. It, it just goes so much faster. Whereas on the hard drive, the application is just now opening up the interface. The timeline is still loading. And so you guys can definitely see the huge speed boost that a solid state drive gets you, even in a professional application. And um, like I said, um, just opening the application, you see a huge speed boost, but also just using this application is a huge speed boost. Now keep in mind, a solid state drive won't make your system an editing machine. You still need to have a good processor, a good amount of memory, and a very nice video card, especially if you want to do like high definition video editing. Um, it, it will just make everything go so much smoother if you have uh, good components. 
but um, getting a solid state drive uh, will definitely increase your performance with apps like Final Cut 10, Avid, even Final Cut 7 will probably increase your speeds. And so it's definitely um, a big performance boost and even more than I thought it would be. The next speed comparison I did was in system preferences, but this can also sort of go hand in hand with Finder. Uh, how many times has it happened that you're browsing around files on your hard drive and it has to pause and think for a second and then it can go? Um, some days it never does this at all and some days it does it a lot. And that's just the nature of a hard drive. You know, the little parts inside can only move so fast. You have, you know, 5400, 7200 RPM flavors, and some are even a little bit faster, like 10,000. Uh, since the solid state has no moving parts, it is pretty much instantaneous. Um, as you can see in the video playing right now, I'm just sort of clicking through a whole bunch of system preferences. And in this video, they are pretty much identical. The hard, the hard drive and the solid state drive, there really is not much of a speed difference there, but. Um, I bet if I were to do this for five more minutes, occasionally the hard drive would you know, pause for a second and then go into it, whereas a solid state, I could probably do that all day and I would never experience any lag. And like I said, this kind of goes hand in hand with Finder, just browsing through files. If I'm accessing my backup drive, which is a terabyte hard drive, 7200 RPM, you know, every once in a while it will have to wait and then it will go into the folder. Um, you know, someday down the line where we'll have you know raids and backups with um, solid state drives will actually be somewhat affordable. You know, we probably won't see that nearly as often as we see that today. And that's just the nature of the hard drive, just how fast it moves. So on um, this test, while um, there was not much of a speed difference in this test, um, I will say that in Finder, the solid state drive is snappier because I never experienced that little lag. And it's, it's not a huge deal, but to people like me, they just sort of notice that sort of thing. And so, while it's not a big deal, it is something to keep in mind. The next and final application I opened was Microsoft Word 2011. Now, if you're like me, you're a, sir, you're a student. I'm in college, and I use these applications very often. Microsoft Word, uh, PowerPoint, Excel, you know, that whole, the whole office suite, really. And with the solid state drive, I experienced um, very, very big speed differences, even with Microsoft Word. I didn't think I would. I thought, you know, uh, really the only big performance gap I would see was with you know apps like Final Cut but even Microsoft Word as you can see in the video on the solid state drive like I literally clicked it and almost by the time the click rose from my finger the interface popped up it was insanely fast and from there I just double clicked the new document and it was up instantly I'd say within a half a second like the whole thing was open whereas on the hard drive you can see that um, I click Word and it, the icon bounces there for a minute and then it, the interface comes up and um, I will say right off the bat that this was not the fairest speed test because on the hard drive I didn't realize that line that I didn't close the other document I had for school as you can see two documents popped up and so one was for school I didn't realize that line saved that with Word I wasn't sure I wasn't aware that worked but um, it did save it so it opened up two documents on the hard drive instead of just a new document on the solid state so that did that probably did affect the performance a little bit but regardless the hard drive still wouldn't have been nearly as fast as a solid state so um, even apps like Microsoft Word, if you're a student, apps like that, even if you just like having that snappy experience, um, there's no lag when I type. If stuff like that is important to you, and um, then you might want to go with a solid state drive just because you know it just makes everything very smooth, even with apps like Microsoft Word. So those are all the speed tests I have for my solid state versus hard drive video. I hope this video was a good indication about how diff how much different the speed is from a solid state and a hard drive. If you're on the fence about getting a solid state drive, but you know they are kind of pricey, or you're still on that fence, then um, hopefully this is a good indication of whether you think it's worth personally for you. It's worth you know spending a little extra the premium to get um, just faster speeds at basically everything. Um, for me, it was definitely worth it. I paid about $80 for my 60 gigabyte here, like I said. At the beginning of the video, all the annotations, go ahead and click those. You can have my full coverage on this drive. Um, I'm, I've had this drive for approaching a month now, and it's working great, and I don't regret getting it what, whatsoever. Um, I'm definitely enjoying these increased speeds. Everything is just very smooth, and I, I don't think I'll ever be able to go back to having a hard drive as a boot drive. But um, that's pretty much it, so go ahead and leave your comments below. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Go ahead and check me out there. And if you have any more questions, like I said, you can comment this video, message me, and all that other stuff. Um, I do have a giveaway coming up, so uh, be sure to stay tuned to my channel for that. And with that said, thanks for watching.